Hello everyone, so today I am going to be doing this look for you and this is a requested prom look and it was requested by Crafty Christina's Cards and um, she said she wanted to have a purple and black look for prom because her prom is coming up in June and um, this is what I came up with so I hope you all like it, it's kind of interchangeable if you want to put a liquid liner on you can if you want to put a, a brighter blush on or anything like that you can, false lashes, go for it so this is really interchangeable and easy to recreate so if you would like to see how to get this look then please keep on watching Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is apply primer because as this is a prom look, you're going to be out most of the night, you want your eyeshadows to stay in place. So I have already applied the Urban Decay Primer Potion and then I have applied my MAC Technical Eyeliner to my upper waterline. So the palette I'm going to be using today is the Sleek Graphite Palette and it looks like this. And if you can see it says Graphite somewhere here. So the first colour I'm going to take is this one here and I'm going to take that onto a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to take it onto like the barrel of the brush here as opposed to the tip and what I'm going to do is pat this in the outer corner of the eye you want to make sure you kind of take it an angle so it lays here and we're going to apply this to the outer corner and then work it inwards so don't worry about fallout we haven't done foundation as yet so don't worry about any fallout and um, if you have done your foundation then you can easily place some translucent loose powder or something like that under the eyes to catch any fallout and make it um, easier to clean up by just sweeping it away so we are just using patting motions for this and working it towards the inner third or the first third I'm not really very good at explaining things today quite clearly and um, yeah, you're just going to keep patting this until you are happy. And then the next colour I'm going to take is going to be the colour right next to it, which is this one here. So the first colour is just an obvious dark purple, a very true purple. And then this one here is more of a metallic blue purple. So I'm just going to place this, again, taking it on the barrel of the brush. I'm going to place this right on the middle part of the lid and I'm going to blend it from the original purple over so that we have a nice gradient of purple and then once we have done that we just want to make sure it is all nicely blended so however you find it easiest to blend you're going to just make sure everything's perfect so then taking the um, same purple I'm just going to flip the brush around so that the product is at the top of the brush and I'm just going to work this into the crease because we want this to be at least a little bit smoky and then I'm going to take it just into the inner corner here just a little bit give some shape to the eye I'm just going to keep blending until I'm happy and then I'm going to flip the brush over to the side where there are no eyeshadows and I'm just going to work this into the skin so that it's nicely blended so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a black and I'm taking just a normal matte black, there's no shimmer to this or anything at all, and a pencil brush. I'm going to dip the very tip into the, um, the black and I'm just going to push this along the outer corner here. We are going to be creating a kind of V shape, so we're going to be putting this in our outer V. Make sure you tap off the extra please because this is very fallout happy. And then to make the V, we're just going to take it up into the socket area as well. So in small circles, we're just going to work it into about here. And just keep creating small circles so that it blends through evenly. And then just creating small circles, work it upwards into the purple that we have placed. So going back with our blending brush and the side that has got no colour on it whatsoever, we're just going to take that and run it along the edge of the black to make it blend in. And then taking that first purple, I'll show you again just so you know, that first purple colour, you're going to take it again on the kind of barrel of the brush and just pat it over the black just to make sure that the black is blending in nicely with all the purple shades. And then again with the next purple along, the second purple we used, 
I'm just going to pat this right next to it just to reinforce the colour and blend it upwards. So again, with the side of the brush with no colour on it, we are just going to blend through. And I'm just going to take a fluffy face brush, this is a Ruby and Millie cheek brush, and I'm just going to sweep away all of that fallout because there is quite a lot, as I did state. So I'm just going to remove that now. So then for our highlight, I'm going to be taking MAC Vanilla, everybody knows that's my favourite highlight colour. So um, I'm just going to take a normal eyeshadow brush and tap off the extra and then I'm just going to apply that to the highest point of our arch and then work it down and along so that it's all blended in. And then if you feel like you've lost any of the intensity in your um, crease area, you can just go back and blend that through with a little bit more purple. Okay, so for the inner part of the eye that haven't got any shadow on it at the moment, I'm going to take this eyeshadow here. This is from L'Oreal and it's called Platinum Beige and it's from the Colour Appeal range. I don't know if that's a collection or a range or whatever. So I'm just going to pick that up on the brush, on the same brush that we did our highlight. And I'm just going to push this onto the lid. So you want to start at the inner corner and then just pat it over to blend in with the purples. So you're also going to meet it up here. And then I'm going to take just a smaller little detail brush and I'm just going to place some of that on the inner corner as well. So to add a little bit of dimension to the look, I'm going to take this kind of frosted white colour here and what I'm going to do is pick that up with the um, blending brush, just a touch, and you're just going to pat it over the purple on the top lid because this is just going to add a tiny bit of kind of like an iridescent shimmer. If you don't want to have this overly shimmery then by all means just leave this out but that makes the lid a little bit more shimmery and it will catch the light a little bit more. So for the lower lash line I am going to take again our first um, purple shade and I am going to run this on the outer half of the lower lid and work it towards the middle of the lower lid. So you're just going to create back and forth kind of swiping motions and this is going to deposit a lovely shade of purple. And then before I apply the next colour I'm going to go back with my MAC Technical Eyeliner and just line the bottom waterline. And then back to the eyeshadow I'm going to take that um, second purple again. And this is going to go on the rest of the lower lash line. So it's going to go from the middle part over to the inner corner. You can also take just a touch of that and run it on top of the um, outer corner purple just to give it a little bit of extra shimmer and depth. So you can do whatever you want with these two purples. You can place them whichever order you choose. And then I'm just going to go back with my um, L'Oreal colour and I'm just going to apply a touch of this to the lower lash line here just to add a little bit of extra light. So what I'm going to do as well is with this black eyeshadow I'm going to be lining the upper lash line with that. So I'm going to take an angled brush and I'm going to dip it in. Now please again make sure you tap off the extra and I'm just going to place this at the root of all the lashes. Now because we lined our upper waterline earlier, it's going to make our lashes look really, really thick. I didn't want to apply um, a, a liquid liner, a gel liner, or anything like that to the upper lash line because I didn't want it to be very harsh. I wanted to make sure that this is kind of, although it's dark and smoky, it's kind of still fresh based because Obviously people going to a prom are going to be between the ages of like 16 and 18, I think. So um, I don't really want to apply like a really thick, harsh liner to this look. If you want to do that, by all means, go for it. You don't have to do anything that I instruct or anything like that. You can do exactly what you want. Um, I've kind of just created this lifted area. It's not a wing, but it's just a lifted area on the outer corner just to lift the eye. Whatever's left on the brush, I'm just going to run it as close to the lower lash lines as I can 
to create a little bit of dimension. So that is it for the eyeshadows. I am going to take my face brush again and just wipe away anything that has fallen down and there is actually quite a lot that has fallen down. So it's a good idea not to do your foundation before your eyes for this particular look. So um, for the lashes I am going to curl my eyelashes. These are just a cheap pair of eyelash curlers from Superdrug. So you just want to place it at the base of the lash and squeeze, then move it up to halfway to the lash and squeeze. And then I like to go back down to the root again and give it one last long squeeze, like so. And then the mascara I'm going to be using is the Lash Architect 4D from L'Oreal. Ideally you want to wear a, a waterproof mascara and this is a waterproof one just because um, it's going to make sure that it doesn't run if you happen to cry for whatever reason um, and it's also going to make sure it doesn't smudge throughout the night so you're just going to apply this to the lashes okay so that is it for the eyes let's move on to the rest of the face okay, so as you can see I have got my eyes done and I have got my foundation on so the foundation I used today was the um, Lancome Tent Idol uh, Ultra 24 Hour and uh, this is just a little sample and I have a review on this coming up so I will be um, show, uploading that soon. So um, I just need to put my concealer under my eyes so I have got the Bourjois Concealer, the Healthy Mix Concealer and um, I'm just going to squeeze this onto my ring finger just a touch and I'm going to pat this under my eye. I've already done this side so I'm just patting it under this eye to blend it in look up so you don't poke yourself in the eye and then I have to set my um, under eye concealer and my foundation with a powder so I am going to be using my Benefit Georgia um, powder you can use um, a loose powder if you want I mean so I have got the natural collection loose powder sitting here um, so you can use that if you want so I'm just going to take my under eye just this small little brush here and just pat that on just to set that all in place and then for the rest of the face I'm going to take this big sort of fluffy brush this is from Urban Decay the blush brush and I'm just going to pat that on just to set everything in place you don't really want to kind of disturb the foundation because pretty much you're just going to be rubbing it straight back off again so I'm just going to pat it on and it will keep the foundation in place and then I don't mind sort of just swirling it around my neck because it just blends it in with everything else. So next is going to be a contour. Now obviously if you have a skinnier face than me you're not going to need it but I, I do. Um, so I'm going to be using my Benefit Hoola um, bronzer and my Real Techniques contour brush and I'm just going to be placing this at the outer corner right by my ear and then just working it inwards in small circles towards to work. the main product needs to be placed here and then you're going to blend it out the further in you go so in small circles you can kind of distribute the colour at the same time and then I'm just going to take a little bit and place that around the hairline at the very top of my face which obviously your hairline is going to be the top of your face um, and then I'm going to do exactly the same the other side again small circles I've just realised I've got no earrings in Oh well. and then I'm also make sure I'm even um, I'm also just going to take a little bit of this down the sides of my nose just to make sure that I look as skinny as possible pretty much <laughs> okay and then for um, what word am I looking for for blusher I'm going to use a new I can't speak today I'm going to use a new product today and it is the uh, Maybelline Dream Touch Blush and this is in number 2 which I think is apricot but it doesn't actually state apricot on the uh, container. So it's just this peach colour, I'm taking it on my ring finger and I'm just going to apply it to the apples of my cheeks and then blend backwards. So you can easily apply it really really thickly, or well not thickly, really heavily so that it makes it look like you've got a nice kind of peachy cheek or you can apply it not quite so much and just look like you have a natural healthy glow to the skin. It's up to you as well if you want to um, set this once it's applied because obviously it is a cream product or a mousse product. You're going to 
um, not necessarily have to set it, but some people might want to. Anybody that maybe have oily skin, um, they might want to set this just to stop it from sliding around if you get a build-up of oil um, throughout the night. So also speaking of oil, or oily skin I should say, um, if you are finding that you are quite an oily skinned person, the best tip, when you're going on a night out, the best tip I can really give you is um, to take those kind of like travel pocket size um, blotting papers with you so that if you feel that the um, the oil is kind of building up throughout the night you can easily just kind of grab one, wipe it away, done. Um, I don't have oily skin myself so I can't be a huge help to anybody that does have oily skin but if anybody has oily skin and has any tips and tricks of how to you know deal with it and good foundation and stuff please leave it in the um, comment section and then for anybody else that has oily skin that would be a great tip for them so if you want to put a powder blush on top of this blush you can it will make it stand out more or it will make it shimmery whatever you want because this is a, a pretty matte one and it's, um, it's very neutral coloured so it just makes you look like you've got a healthy glow to the skin so I am not going to set it and I'm not going to put anything over the top of it. The next step for me is going to be to apply a highlight. So I have got my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. I love this highlight. I use it all the time so I'm sorry that it's always in the videos. Um, and then you're just going to apply this on the tops of your cheekbones just to add some um, highlight to where the light would naturally hit your face. So I'm applying it with the same brush that I applied my contour with. And then I'm also just going to take some down the nose, onto the forehead, keep it bow and chin. So the last step to this prom look, which I'm actually kind of loving at the moment, I love the purple, um, is going to be to do the lips. So I have got um, a waterproof lip liner because that is the best idea really because obviously, again, a night out you want to make sure it stays. So I have got the uh, BH Cosmetics Lip Liner in Earth. It looks like that. So I'm going to line and fill in the lips with this. Okay, and then for lipstick, I want to keep it quite neutral because obviously there's a lot going on in the eyes. So I have got my MAC lipstick in Pretty Please, which is just a pale frosted pink colour. So obviously you can leave it there if you want to, but obviously for a night out you might want to be a bit more glossy. So I have got the Revlon Colour Burst, I think it's Colour Burst. Yeah, Colour Burst Gloss in Crystal Lilac and I'm just going to apply a tiny bit of that to the centre of the lip just to give a little bit of dimension. And that is it, that is the look complete. So here is the final completed look of my uh, requested prom look. So the best thing you can really do now is to set all of this hard work with a setting spray. So I personally have got the Urban Decay with this Do Me Moisturising Setting Spray. They do an all-nighter one, I think, which is for oily skin. Um, and then they do this one for dry skin. So the best thing you can do is mist this over your face now, or any, any um, setting spray, not just this one. Um, and yeah, that will be you set for the night. So all you've got to do now is just put on your dress. And um, yeah, so I'm going to take my hair clips out and make myself look a little bit more presentable before I sign off. So, um, yeah, this is the final look, and I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you very much for the request. If you want to follow me on Twitter to keep in touch, then you can find me at FreakyGen16. I'm also now on Instagram, which again, FreakyGen16. So if you want to follow me on either of those, you are more than welcome to, and um, you can keep in touch. Um, I hope anybody going to a prom anytime soon has a really great night. Be safe. Um, be responsible and um, yeah so thank you very much for watching please comment rate, and subscribe and until my next video I shall see you all soon bye